And to other stories where prison reforms campaigners say there is a need for social attitudinal changes to curb the challenges associated with ex-convicts in the country returning to crime. They made this submission during a two-day workshop on inmates' behavioral and cognitive modification programs held in partnership with Nigerian Correctional Service and the Prisons Fellowship International. Our correspondent, Kukwola Bemidekbo Kukwola, compiled this report. The two-day workshop on inmates' behavioral and cognitive modification program highlighted prisoners' welfare and rehabilitation has been a major source of concern and the need for the workshop. This is more of training them, adding to their knowledge for them to be properly equipped for their job in the yard. That's why they are here. It's a kind of workshop where they will receive lectures and all that to advance their knowledge in what is existing in the system. We train them in various areas. Are they now, they are tested and they come up with threat, uh, threat test certificates one, two, three, depending on your proficiency. The government and citizens were called on to arrest the growing unease of stigmatization of ex-inmates. When the offender comes out and finds no accommodation, finds no help, finds no sympathizer, he simply goes back to his old crime mates. That's one. The government is also a major contributor to that kind of thing. How? Through absence or in uh, existent or where they claim it does exist uh, 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 not known social security there is none those who have gone through school and all that have no jobs there is this local uh, adage that those who are standing have not seen let alone somebody who is stupid so government by its policies and uh, some of the legislations that if you've been convicted, you can't do this. You, those force people, they are condemned for life. And that is very, very destructive. When the society fail to open their arm of welcome to offenders and ex-offenders, what they have done is they are forcing them to go and run into the embrace of those who are crimin have the criminal network. And that will be worse because you will see instances of somebody who was, um, you know, maybe pickpocketing, big, they, they, you know, just stole a few things. The next moment, he's now gadgeting to really serious offender. So if the, that provision that talks about this in the Constitution is something we need to revisit. And apart from doing this, because it's not just about what you put in the law, it's about how implemented. How do we take steps to ensure that everyone who comes out of a custodial facility is supported and not stigmatized against, is supported to begin to live a law-abiding life. Because if you don't, be rest assured, nothing exists in a vacuum. The aim of the workshop is to familiarize correctional officials with empowerment, remedial and behavioral modification program, and to enlighten the public on the need to totally avoid stigmatization of ex-inmates when reintegrated into the society. Babajideli, Silverbird News 24.